right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless you all. I'm Jarvis Kingston, and I hope that y'all doing all right and staying strong and solid in these times that we're in. I pray that you have repented and that you were baptized. I pray that you are safe, protected, and prayed up. And I just pray that whatever situation that you're going through, that the Lord is with you, that he guides you, protects you, he looks out for you, he comforts you. I pray that your mental health gets better and that you become more strong and wise in the Lord. I pray that you keep fighting a good fight of faith. You keep running your race. You keep your eyes fixed on the Messiah. You keep your eyes fixed on the prize. You stay on a narrow, straight gate path, and you help out plenty of people along your journey forevermore. Amen. Always remember that the Lord will never leave you nor forsake you, and that the Messiah intercedes for you. So always stay thankful, grateful, appreciate it, take it one day at a time. Most definitely, y'all, let us thank the Lord for another day. Let us thank the Lord for waking us up and giving us another chance to seek his face. Let us thank the Lord for food in our belly, clothes on our back, and a roof over our head. Let us thank the Lord for protecting us coming in and going out. Guide us through the morning, get us through the afternoon, get us through the evening, get us through the night. He is constantly looking out for us with his grace, mercy, favor, love, the outstretched arm of God, the mighty hand of God, the finger of God, his word, his only begotten son dying for our sins. There's so much things the Lord has done for us throughout our lifetime and continues to keep doing for us because his mercy endures forever. Amen. He protects his people. He keeps his promises. So always thank him through it all, people, most definitely. Welcome, everyone. I appreciate all of you for listening and support. It means a lot to me. I love you all. Pray for you all. Brothers and sisters of the faith all over the world, let's be together for the most high on one accord. Amen. Much love to the 12 tribes of Israel scattered all four corners of the earth. Much love to the scattered Israelites among the nations all ends of the earth. Much love to the churches and mysteries out there with the sound doctrine, the congregation, the tabernacles, the gatherings, the fellowships, the Bible studies and all those good things and services and the live streams as well. Much love to the great tribulation saints down the road. Much love to the past martyrs, the current martyrs, and future martyrs, the brave, courageous, isolated believers out there who are being persecuted, going through it for the faith of the gospel. Much love and comfort to all of you out there all over the world. Prayers up to all the brand new converts of, and they grab the Gentiles of all nations, tribes, languages, tongues, races, faces, kindreds all over the world. All the believers, anyone who just got baptized, anyone who just repented, anyone who just became a believer, God bless you. Welcome as well. Love you all dearly. All right, let's stay strong together. Amen. Most definitely, y'all. Welcome, everyone, all peoples, all nations, all tribes, all languages, all tongues, all races, all faiths, all kindreds, everybody. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. All the animals, all the creatures, all the beasts, all the fish in the sea, the birds in the air, the trees, the plants, the mountains. Let all of God's creation praise him. Amen. Hallelujah. Whether you are an Israelite or a Gentile, it is all right. Whether you are chosen or adopted or grafted in, it is all right. Let us gather together and praise the Most High. Sing a new song, clap our hands, stop our feet, praise him, rejoice, always rejoice, y'all, make a joyful noise, make a joyful sound, always play an instrument, always dance, express yourself for the most high crowd to him, do what you gotta do, y'all, pray without ceasing, all those good things, people, always serve him with gladness and joy, and always worship the spirit of truth, amen, most definitely. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, love the Lord God for your mind, heart, soul, strength, and might. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Love the Lord God for your my heart, soul, strength, and might. Let us love our neighbor as we love ourselves. And let us keep doing Father's business and Father's will for the rest of our lives till the sun comes back. Amen. He has come back like a thief in the night and a twinkling of an eye. He has come back at an hour nobody knows but the Father. He has come back with them angels, with a shout, with them trumpets, and all those things, y'all. So let us stay ready, alert, sober, vigilant. Let us be watchful. Let us keep the word. Let us keep the commandments. Keep keep doing God's word. Keep being doers of the word. Keep spreading the gospel. Keep doing the great commission. Keep the gospel. Keep the testimony of the Messiah. Always be firm in the faith, people, and stay strong through everything you're going through. Every obstacle you face, you trust in the Lord through it all. Praise the people most definitely. Let the Lord keep revealing himself to us more often through dreams, visions, encounters, and all types of various ways of communication. Let's know the Lord better. Let's get more close to him. Let's seek his face. Draw near to God. He'll draw near to you. Let us obey the gospel. Let us obey the law, statute, commandments. Let us obey all of God's word. Anything the Most High has told us personally according to our calling, our life, our purpose, our situation, handle that, people. Any assignment or task the Father gave you, handle it. Be responsible with the talents and gifts you have, and just be on point and honor the Most High everything you have. Amen. Most definitely, y'all. So I hope that you all are good, doing all right and staying strong out there, taking it one day at a time. Probably a lot going on in your personal life. In your per- there's probably a lot going on in your personal life, but there's a whole lot going on all over the world as well, okay? So it's present for everybody out there, okay? This world is moving very fast. A lot of prof- prophecy being fulfilled. A lot of events just happening, you know? So let us be firm and steadfast in these times, okay? So what I'm going to do is just read this little commentary real quick on Manasseh. I'm just going to um, talk about this commentary from a point of view of how he worshiped his idols and rebelled against the most high and all those things. So we'll just go through this commentary real fast 
And then we'll close out with a prayer. We will close out with a priestly blessing. And we will close out giving all the praise, honor, and glory to the Most High God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And praise only but God's Son die for our sins. Amen. Hallelujah, y'all. Let us always have wisdom and always humble ourselves before God. Amen. Let us not be prideful or foolish when it comes to things around us. Okay. Let's go through this commentary. Before I saw Assyria's gates, Manasseh, the Lord spoke to Manasseh and his people, but they did not pay no attention. The book of Second Chronicles, chapter 33, verse 10. The prophets, what do their prophets know? They only know to prophesy evil against the king of Judah, the rightful heir of David. Evil will never come to them, as they say. They have fortified cities and their warriors. Let the king of Assyria send his commanders against them. We will repel them at the gates. We will laugh at their weaknesses. Evil will never come to them. We have their land. They have their possessions for. We have their possessions forever. Our fathers poured out their blood for this land. God has said that said that the feet of the Israelites will never leave the land and give it to their fathers. Evil will never come to us, as they say. We have the temple that Solomon adorned with cedar wood and gold. Our wealth flows like a river in this temple, and God has said that His name will remain here forever. Evil will never come upon us. They have their bales and their Asherah poles. Therefore. Their land grows fat with wine and oil, wheat and barley. Therefore, their flocks cover a thousand hills. Therefore, their wives give us fine, strong sons, arrows in their quiver to unleash against their enemies. Evil will never come to them. They have their diviners and sorcerers, their mediums and spiritists. Therefore, their enemies will never strike them unawarely. They know their secret plans and they know the days when they know they bring the best to when they bring the best the best to ruin. Evil never come upon them. They spare nothing for the sake of their people. They burn their own son as a sacrifice to Molech. They are a lamp and a horn to their people. They tell them the plain, the path of truth, for truth is whatever their king says to them. They are their strength, for they can do whatever they wish. What do the prophets know? Let the king of Assyria and his commanders repel them at the gates. They will laugh at their weaknesses. So this is like a, a point of view from a prideful, arrogant stance of, the views between different nations, what was going on at that time when people was going to war and having different beliefs as well, and their gods will have you, okay? Back to the future. King Manasseh of Judah entrusted in his welfare and the welfare of his people to false gods. In what ways are you tempted to follow false gods today? What influence does false gods have on people over our society? King Manasseh refused to listen to God. What steps can you take to cultivate a heart that is open and submissive to the voice of God? What blessings have you received as a result of hearing and obeying God? The story continues to read the tragic story of Manasseh's reign. See the book of 2 Kings chapter 21 verses 1 through 18 and also the book of 2 Chronicles chapter 33 verses 1 through 20. All right, so that is the commentary, all right? So there you have it. It's important that we humble ourselves and always keep worshiping God and being obedient to his law, such and commandments, amen? Most definitely, all right, so there you have it. What I love to do as I close out is give all the praise, honor, and glory to the Most High God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And praise his only begotten Son who died for our sins. Amen. Hallelujah, y'all. So here we go. Hallelujah, y'all. Praise the Most High God of heaven and earth. He is the God of Shem, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. He is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob forever. He is the God of Israel, the God of the Hebrews. He is the God of Noah, Dope, Noah, Noah Job, and Daniel. Praise the Most High always forever, y'all. His only begotten son died for our sins, rose up three days later. Much love to the Messiah. Praise him always, y'all, most definitely. He is the last Adam, the second Adam. Praise the Lord, y'all, the advocate, the almighty, true, living God. Praise the Lord, the Alpha and Omega. Amen. The apostle of our profession, the arm of the Lord, the atonement sacrifice for our sins, the author and finisher of our faith, the author perfecter of our faith, the author of life, the author of salvation, the beginning and the end, the beginning of creation of God, the beloved son. The blessed and only potent, the blessed and only ruler, the branch, the bread of God, the bread of life, the bridegroom, the capstone, the captain of salvation, the chief cornerstone, the chief shepherd, Christ, the Christ of God, the consolation of Israel, the cornerstone, the counselor, wonderful counselor, the creator, the day spring, the deliverer, the desire of the nations, the door, the elect of God, Emmanuel, God is with us, eternal life, everlasting father, faith and true witness, faithful and true, the faithful witness, the first and last, the first begotten, the first born from the dead, first born of all creation, the forerunner, the gate, the glory of the Lord, God, the good shepherd, the great high priest, the great shepherd, the head of the church, the hair of all things, the high priest, holy and true, the holy one, the hope, the hope of glory, the horn of salvation, the I am, the I am that I am, the I am who I am, the great I am, the image of God, Jehovah, 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 Jireh, Jehovah, Shalom, Jehovah, Nassai, 
Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, the judge of Israel, the judge, King eternal. He is the king of Israel. Amen. He is the king of kings. Hallelujah. He is the king of kings and Lord of lords. Hosanna, Hosanna of the highest prayers. Hosanna, son of David. Blessed be he that comes in the name of the Lord. We have blessed you out of the house of the Lord. Hallelujah, y'all. He is the king of saints, king of the ages, king of the Jews, the king, the lamb, the lamb of God, the lamb without blemish, the last Adam, the lawgiver. The leader, commander, the life, the life of the world, the line of the tribe of Judah, the living one, the living stone. The Lord is holiness. The Lord is my banner. The Lord is my portion. The Lord, our righteousness. He is our shield, our buckler, our refuge, our strength, our good fortress, our high tower, our shield, our buckler. He is our redeemer, our salvation, our provider, everything, y'all. Praise him. Yah, Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahweh, 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 Yeshua, Hamashiach. Baraka Fa Shalom Wam Shalom Yeshua Elohim Yehosha Yehusha Yehosha Ahai Yeshaya Adonai He is the consuming fire Abba He is the Father of lights the Father of the fatherless the Father of widows the Father of mercies He is the God of heaven and earth His Son sits at the right hand of Him The government rests on His shoulders He is the great physician can heal all things He's the carpenter can fix all things with God. All things are possible. Nothing is too hard for the Lord. God made everything in six days and rest on the seventh day. He could fix your situation right now in the name of Jesus, y'all. We touch and agree, y'all. Call on him and he'll show you great mighty things, y'all. Search and seek him with all your heart and you will find him. He is a reward to those who seek him diligently. Got to believe in him, trust in him, know he exists and all he could do for you. Your faith made you well. Your faith saved you. Your faith is how you overcame the world. Favor, grace, mercy, peace. Healing, restoration, deliverance, miracle signs, wonders. We know that for the rest of our lives, the outstretched arm of God is going to be in our lives forever. The mighty hand of God is going to be in our lives forever. The finger of God will be on our lives forever. We touch and agree, y'all. Most definitely, he got us, y'all. Praise him. He is the Lord of all, the Lord of glory, the Lord of lords, the man from heaven. We are in agreement with the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. He is the man of sorrows, the mediator of the new covenant, the mediator, the message of the covenant, the Messiah, the mighty God, the mighty one, the morning star, the Nazarene, the offspring of David, the only begotten Son of God, our great God, our Savior, our holiness, our husband, our Passover, our protection, our redemption, our righteousness, our sacrificed Passover lamb, the power of God, the precious cornerstone, the prince of kings, the prince of life, the prince of peace, the prophet, the redeemer, the resurrection of life, the resurrection, the resurrected of life, the revelation, the revelator. The righteous branch, the righteous one, the radiant one, the perfect example, the rock, the root of David, the rose of Sharon, the ruler of God's creation, the rule of the kings of the earth, the savior, the seed of woman, the shepherd and bishop of souls, the Shiloh, the son of Abraham, the son of David, the son of God, the son of man, son of the blessed, son of the most high God, the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him, the son of righteousness, the just one, the one mediator, the stone the builders rejected, the true bread, the true God, the true light, the true vine. Yes, he is the truth. Amen. He is the way. Hallelujah. He is the way, truth, and life. Praise him. The wisdom of God, the witness, the wonderful counselor, the word, the word of God, the word of life, the word of Yahuwah, the word made flesh, the living word, most definitely. We know that every word of God is true, pure, and flawless, as the book of Proverbs says. We know that his word is purified, silver, just as David said in the Psalms. And we know that his words are double as swords, the book of Hebrews says, amen. We touch and agree, y'all. So prayers up for everybody, amen. Prayers up. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the honor and the glory forever. Amen. I just want to give you all the Lord's prayer. Now I'd like to give you the priestly blessing on the way out as well, okay? So here we go. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. And they shall put my name on the children of Israel, and I will bless them. Shalom. Amen. Selah. Barakatha. I'm Jarvis Kingston. I love you all. Praying for you all. Peace.